up, everybody? Welcome back to a video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. We are back at it again, finally, with a, another video. I got my baby in my lap because she'll cry if she don't put my shoes on, baby. Um, so anyways, today's video is going to be a little different. It's not necessarily, actually, it's not a vlog at all. Um, basically, I'm going to be telling you, if you guys, obviously, you read the title already, um, about our last week, the, you know, seven days, week. Guys, I need to go to bathroom, so I will come back. Um, so basically, it started Emily's first day of school. Don't get me wrong, that day was absolutely amazing, emotional, it was perfect. Yeah. But except for one thing. So as I was recording, you know, Emily at school and stuff, I noticed my camera felt a little weird. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Canon G7X Mark II, which is the camera that I have. If you haven't, I'll go ahead and put a picture right here. The screen flips up and one of the screws that holds that down so it's not loose, it went missing. Like it unscrewed for somehow. And so I didn't want to use my camera because I didn't want the other one to go missing and then the screen, you know, possibly break off completely. It's no longer usable. Um, so that's one of the reasons why we have not been vlogging this last week. Um, but the major reason is, so I don't know if you guys know, you probably do. We actually just moved into this beautiful, wonderful house. Me and Edgar, we officially became homeowners for the first time and it was amazing. I mean, this house is beautiful. It's perfect for our family. But I don't know how many of you guys are homeowners, but with homeowners, that does come with responsibility. And the very next day of Emily's first day of school on Wednesday, I don't even want to say it, it's like horrible. Our AC went out. Granted, we live in Arizona and it's a bajillion degrees outside, literally over 100 degrees every single day. Um, so I, me and Edgar were actually at work, so Edgar called me while I was at work and he was like, my dad just called me and he told me that the AC went out. I'm like, what do you mean? And then he's like, he just said the AC stopped working. And then I'm like, I didn't even know what to think. I'm like, I have two kids at home. Um, well, actually only one now that Emily was at school, but my little baby was at home. And I'm like, what are we supposed to do? Okay, so I finally got rid of his <laughs> Um, So I am back. So again, 100 degrees all day without AC and that's not even the worst part. The worst is still to come. All right, you guys, so when the warranty people came out to look, you know, what was wrong with it and everything like that, um, we had originally thought we were just gonna pay for them to come out, check it and fix it because it's a warranty. That's what, that's what you think, right? So it was the next day actually. They had came out the next day. So on Thursday, Edgar calls me and was like, oh yeah, they're over there, they're gonna call me when they're done. I'm like, okay, cool, like, yeah, let's get this done, it's hot. But, so they, Edgar calls me while I'm at work, and I would probably say it was like lunchtime, maybe noon one, and he was like, they can't fix it. And I'm like, what do you mean they can't fix it? Again, <laughs> like a dummy. And he was like, okay, so here's what happened. So the previous owners, Three years ago, the AC unit that's outside had gotten stolen. So they replaced that. However, they did not replace, I'm looking like you guys can see over there. They did not replace what was in the attic, okay? So those two units, I guess, they were mismatched is what they considered it. And in the warranty policy, it says they cannot work on mismatched units. What the heck? Who the reads the fine print and thinks of that so when edgar calls me and tells me that i literally am at work sitting at my desk and i start bawling my eyes out like you have no idea i'm like because i kept on asking him i'm like what the hell are we supposed to do what are we supposed to do he's like i don't know he's like i don't know i'll let you know uh, we're probably gonna end up having to pay a lot of money this and that and I mean, as a first time homeowner, what is it like four months, like not even four months into living in your brand new home, your fantastic home, your AC breaks. And then that whole thing happens. I mean, I literally broke down in tears. I went outside and I just started bawling my eyes out. Like all my makeup was off, like I was done. So I call my mom 
because I was an emotional wreck and I'm like mom what are we supposed to do like they're not gonna fix our AC <laughs> like I was literally crying like a baby I swear okay so on Wednesday to Thursday we actually stayed at the house with the two fans in the room downstairs was still pretty nice but upstairs was you know kind of hot so me we slept with the fans literally right next to the bed and the babies in the middle of us with the fans blowing right on them so Wednesday to Thursday wasn't that bad yeah I'm saying it because yeah you guys will see so from from Thursday to Friday they didn't end up so basically long story short we were out of AC from Wednesday to you guys it would be two days ago Tuesday that is six days without AC in Phoenix Arizona over 100 degrees i swear you not i came home from work one day it was 98 degrees in our house 98 freaking degrees it literally felt nicer outside 110 degrees than it did inside this house i kid you not <sighs> it was crazy so anyways um basically our ac was out so from the entire weekend so finally friday comes they still can't fix it because we're still trying to figure out like financial issues and stuff like that so from uh, Thursday to Friday, we ended up staying here again because it was still kind of cool. We had the fans. Um, we actually slept downstairs, though, in the living room with the fans on us. Um, so again, downstairs, it was hot. It was sticky, but it was still you could still bear it like it wasn't like drenching in sweat like it was upstairs like it is upstairs. Um, from Friday to Saturday, we couldn't do it anymore. It was too hot. These kids were like. Their face was always red. I'm like, we can't be here anymore. So we, my dad was actually out of town, and even if he wasn't out of town, we we stayed at my dad's house, which luckily he has a pool, so we were able to take the kids swimming. Um, they literally both got burnt like crazy because they were out there all day, but it was so worth it. And again, thank you, Dad. And um, from Saturday to Sunday, we ended up staying at my mom's house. Um, we had all the kids, even Christopher, but you know, it was laid back. It was really chill. It was cool. It was nice. AC and all, even though we slept on an air mattress, literally six days, six freaking days. Um, it was amazing. I mean, I have the best family in the entire world and thank you guys all for the support. But anyways, um, so from Saturday to Sunday, we ended up staying at my mom's house. So thank you, mom. Love you. And then from Sunday to Monday, we ended up staying at Edgar's brother's house. Fran, thank you, Fran. I love you too. Um, you guys are honestly the best. Hold on. Okay, we're back once again. Edgar's parents just kidnapped my daughter. No, I'm just kidding. They took her out, but um, thank goodness. So on Saturday, they brought us a portable AC unit, which we actually still have. It's right there. It's not plugged in or anything. We don't need it anymore. Um, so that was actually downstairs. So Edgar's parents were still able to sleep here. From Monday to Tuesday, we finally got our financial situation figured out. Thank the freaking Lord. Yes. I'm just gonna say that I literally am so blessed um, we finally got our financial situation figured out um, but they couldn't we had we were ready on Monday to pay them but they couldn't come out till the following day so we had one more day one more day so from Tuesday or from Monday to Tuesday what we did is at Home Depot they actually like rent out portable AUC unit, AC units, but like humongous ones. So we ended up getting that for one day and we brought it here, we brought it downstairs. So Edgar's parents had the big portable AC unit. And what we did is we took the, the little AC portable unit that our warranty brought to us, we put it in our room with the extra two fans because the, the big one that we brought from Home Depot was fine downstairs. It, it made it feel refreshing. Um, even though it wasn't still like a regular AC unit, it made it bearable to where you only needed that one. Um, and so what we did is we put the little AC unit and the two fans, actually three fans upstairs in our room and we kept it up there all day. So by the time we got home from work and you know, whatever we, the room was like refreshing. It, finally, Tuesday came 
They were here, I think like 8.30 in the morning they got here. I get a call from Edgar about one and he tried to trick me. He was like, oh, they forgot a part and they can't fix it until Wednesday. Like, mind you, from Wednesday to the following Tuesday, till not the following, but Wednesday till Tuesday, six freaking days, we're AC, we can't even stay in our home. It's 98 degrees in here. I mean, we have three kids and it's like, I just couldn't do it anymore. Like I was such an emotional wreck. I wanted to cry every time I thought about it. It's just, it was really insane. And again, the whole point of this is that's why I didn't vlog. No, I'm just kidding. I really wanted to tell you guys my story, but um, so they, and then he was like, Edgar was like, no, I'm just kidding. They finished, they're done. Literally, I was like speechless. I'm like, I've never been more excited to go home in my entire life. Like, I kid you not. And it was like the best feeling ever. Like, I felt like I could actually breathe from the last week, from the last six days. They basically, they replaced everything. So everything is matching now. So if it ever happens again, it is under the warranty. If you guys are homeowners, I recommend getting the warranty. It is absolutely amazing. They gave us a really big discount um as well but like i said that's literally the price of being a homeowner anyways that is the story time for today i wanted to let you guys know where we've been the last week what happened and the prices of being a homeowner i mean this is a price of being a homeowner whether you've been a homeowner or not because this could literally happen to anyone it just happened to have happened to us within the first four months but Thank you again to all my family and friends who helped us get, whether it was let us stay in your home, gave us advice. Um, I mean, I love you guys all, you know, prayed for us. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Amazing. I know most of you guys are watching this. So thank you once again from mine, Edgar's Hearts, our family. We really, really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. But stay tuned for tomorrow's video because me and edgar are actually going somewhere you guys will find out tomorrow once the video is up but thank you for watching our video well i guess it was just me this time and a little bit of the kids um thank you for watching this video i really really appreciate it let me know if you guys like these story times um not that we really have a lot of stories but if i ever think of anything or you know something like that maybe i can just pop up on this chair again and tell you guys a story but make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.